big and empty this place feels without you. Look, there's some things going on right now that are going to get really complicated. What's that supposed to mean? Well, new territories, Philadelphia, maybe even Cleveland. When are we going to start living like a normal family? When are we going to start fixing this place Mike. up? Well, for one thing, I'd like to walk out of my bedroom without a serious concussion every day. Look, honey, I told you it's that heating thing. I don't care what it is. This is the only one short enough to get under it without clobbering himself. Come on, you guys, up. Oh, yeah. Hey! Stay the hell out of my room! That thing's gonna fall off. Again, case? 
I thought we were all through with that. Come on. Let's get these wet sheets out of here before Mom sees them. You ever walk into me like that again, I'll step on your face. Sorry. You sleeping bare ass now? Mom would love that. What's this? It's nothing. Forget it. Hey, Mom! Can't see what's the bed again. Hurry up and get dressed. Center ring, showtime 7 p.m. Be there or be square. I don't care what you guys do tonight, but whatever it is, it's gonna be together. Casey didn't like the circus last year. Remember, Mom? It scared him. Well, that was last year, huh, Casey? Who's best? Mine. Take a lunch. You got practice tonight? It's Friday. Home right after. Randy, what's that thing still doing out there? Mom, well, it's for Halloween. Give me a break. Halloween is two weeks away. It's gross. You know what your problem is, Mom? You got no sense of humor. Take it down now. Now! Mom. Now! Why can't I go with you? Honey, your Aunt Mia is 75 years old. You'd be bored stiff. She doesn't like us anyway. She doesn't? She said boys were made for the chopping block. Casey, do you want to tell me why you really don't want to go tonight? Are you sure? I'm sitting with Marcy, got it? But I didn't like her anymore. She'll be there with Melissa if she leaves. We can sit alone. We don't care. All oh, right, and have a little ball baby here, Frank, on me later? No way. We can all sit together. We can all hold hands. Huh, Casey? I bet you'll need someone to hold your hand. I'm not afraid of the stupid circus, so shut up. Maybe not all of you. Lighten up. Maybe not the lions, huh, Casey? Or the elephants? Shut up! Or the fat lady? Strong man. Shut up! But Chase. But what about those clowns? You think I'm ever gonna forget you running from that stupid clown? No one's ever. Knock it off! That, that was hilarious. I was just a little kid. <laughs> just shut <sighs> up. So why are you going, Casey? You know you're scared. You can't stay home. You know that. Too bad. I have to face that big, big clown all by your soup. I'm oh. not a scared, so shut up. Well, you better sit next to Jeffrey. I don't want you peeing your pants on me. Trouble at that net house. Where the crazy people live. What the hell's going on? Maybe they try to break out. You know? Maybe to go to the circus. The lady was 
so fake. All right. She was, you could tell. Oh, yeah, and you and kissed you. her. That's right. I thought you. You know who I am? I'm Jolly Ollie, the Jolly Brothers Circus Clown. And tonight, there's super spectacular circus fun that I don't want you to miss. Showtime at 7 p.m. And it'll be great fun for the whole family. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Casey. So, you think we like being here with you either? What I think is that you better watch your mouth. That. That what? That. That's what I want to do. You know what that is? Fortune yeah. telling? You're kidding me, Jason. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's phony like everything else here. So, it's his money. You want your fortune told? Give me a buck. I'll tell you. You're ugly and you'll probably pee in your bedding. Randy, shut up. What? You, you forgetting something, Jeff? Like, you can bash your face. Come on, Jeff. There's no one in here. Casey, just go in. You're wasting your time. Probably on a coffee break. Yes. You wanted it. My little brother, Casey. He wants his fortune told. Casey. Soft hand. It is good to be soft, but dangerous too. You know what I say? Now, Casey, first your line of wisdom. It is long and curving. That is very good. You have a great potential to bring wisdom and happiness to first yourself and then to others. And this, Casey, is your love line. Still small. Like his pecker. But very deep. Now, most important, the lifeline. You see, it starts here in the mountain. Wasn't it a case? A scar. It's right in these stitches. No, it was his left. If it is a scar, there is no worry. Well, what if it isn't? Something very soon is cutting through your lifeline. Oh, that's Whoa. a bunch of bullshit. Come on. Come on, Casey, let's go. Casey, you must take great care. Come on, let's go. Beware, beware in the darkest of dark, though the flesh is young. And the hearts are strong. Precious life cannot be long. When darkest death has left its mark. Go on, get out of here. You know, lady, you've got a real problem. What's the matter with you?
A plus, Jeff. She wasn't supposed to say that. I told you it was bullshit. It's bullshit, Casey. It's bullshit. Put your goddamn hand down. I wish mom could see this, man. You walked him right into She's it. She's not supposed to say that, all right? Every time, man. He's not your best brother, Casey. Huh? Every time, man. Every time. I get blamed, and you little goody two-shoes walks him in there and scares him with any fucking clown. Yes, is when you give a shit about I'm him. I'm tired of this baby crap. I am not your babysitter. You got that? You got that? Huh? You got it? All right, listen, you're gonna sit in there. And you're gonna watch the show. And I'm gonna sit with Melissa. And I don't wanna even know I've got two little brothers. Okay? All right? All right, walk behind me.
It's just a man case. I know. Pain on his face. Pretty funny, huh? No. You know what I used to be afraid of? Still sort of am. The wolf man. I don't know why. I know he's fake. But still. That's what I don't like about clowns. Their faces are fake. Big happy eyes. Big pain smiles. It's not real. You never know what they really are. You're never gonna let this down, you know. Whole damn town is watching. If anyone gives you any trouble, you just come and get me, okay? Wanna go back in? Come on, then. Well, let Randy slobber over old Melissa while you and me play some more games. Maybe we can win something for Mom. You're pretty good at pitching baseballs, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes. Been. Show's been out 20 minutes. You'll never guess what Casey won. Never in a million years. What the hell is that? What are you so hot about? I want to get out of here. Where's Melissa? Shut up. You got no right to say anything. Well, baby, this whole goddamn town thinks you're as chicken as they come. Mom and Dad find out, they'll probably put you back in Shut papers. up, Randy. Haven't you ever been scared before? Yeah, scared how bad I'm going to bash you. Talk to me like we that still have again. to walk behind you. Just move your ass. Coco sounds like she caught the old man cheating again. Little bastard could have broken my rib cage. Swell, you would have bled whiskey all over the ring. Yeah, gave him quite a scare. A little stage fright. <sighs> Most kids are dying to get up there with the rest of us. Now it's old Murray. Tired, Tired of working, of working for, peanuts. for peanuts. Yeah. What the hell is going on out there? What the hell? Kids, probably. Want to catch the clowns with their pants down. And I will show them something what they don't want to see. Blah. I'm sure you would, Charlie.
Get away from the tent, please. Show's over! trying to figure out if this is a whisker or a zit. You guys want to show you really got some hair? Casey? You know, I want to show you really got hair where it counts. What? Well, since we're all feeling so brave tonight, and Mom won't be home till late, we could have some real scary fun. I remember. I remember, Casey? Ghost stories. Yeah. You wanna? Wanna Jeffrey? Midnight. Or just huh. thereabouts. Midnight. A time for something awful. Something evil. Something real. Or not. He was too scared to tell. It was that tingly feeling on the back of his neck that told him, that told him, they were out there. What did 
they want? Why were they here? To scare him? To kill him? Alone and helpless. Sure, he had his axe. But what would that really bring him? Just more blood. He knew they would find him. All of them. Their faces like painted nightmares. Sure as anything real, they would find him. It was kind of like they were already inside of him. So they would always know where he was hiding. They're coming. They're coming, Jeffrey. They're coming, KC. They're coming! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Case? Think they're really coming to get us? Got that feeling. That tingly feeling on the back of my neck. It's probably what's behind you. Shut up! Uh, major lock. Most of the kitchen's off limits. So? So? You want to get our butts whipped for a lousy bowl of popcorn? The only way we're going to get our butts whipped is <laughs> Good, then you go make it. No, you're the one who won't get in any trouble. She never even yells at you. You guys? This story really worked on you, didn't it? Casey, what was it? Something real or not, Case. Or are you too scared to tell? Case? Casey? Well, let's say we make popcorn, or if we catch hell for it, we all take the blame. Deal. Okay, Case? Clown boy. Popcorn? Don't be afraid of the dark, sweetheart. See, baby, lurking in the shadows of love. Oh, baby, I... Oh, man. Casey, Jeffrey, come here. I'm kidding. Maybe there's more. There's not. 
Who was the last one using the popcorn, Casey? Who used the last of the popcorn, huh? Mom said I could. She just didn't get any more. That takes care of that. Like hell. Petries are still open. It's almost 11. We never make it. We went on Old Jones Road. No one's walking Old Jones Road in the middle of the night. You are, Jeffrey. You and Casey. No way. All right, Casey. And you go. Forget it. He's kidding. You go. Me? Yeah. Okay. You guys gonna stay here and feel each other up while I'm gone? No. You scared to go alone? No. Says you. Says you. You're full of shit, Jeffrey. You've been watching too many of those creature features. They're starting to rot your brain out. Maybe we should all go. Yeah, then we could all be murdered by the big, bad, boogeyman clowns out there. Don't say that, Randy. You coming? I'm going with Randy. What? Why? Let's all go. Jeffrey's afraid to go, Chase. Come on, we're going. We'll be right back. Why are you going with him, Case? We'll be right back. You. We gotta make it to Petri's in seven minutes, buddy. Let's go. Dark scare if you run through it. We grow up, Casey. What's out there that's gonna grab us, huh? Just because it's dark doesn't mean there's something awful in it. Here. It means you can't tell if there is. That's baby thinking, Casey. Grow up. Okay? Let's go. Come on. Randy, don't make me run, please. Hey! I'll buy you a bag of jelly beans if you beat me there. All right? No! You run all the way. Randy, help! Casey? I'm gonna kill him. <gasps> Get off me, you little shit. What the hell's the matter with you? There's so many behind me, chasing me. My ass. Shut up, there was. Well, you came barreling in here like a freight train. Oh, look at this mess. I'm gonna kill you, you little turd. I'll take care of this, Jasper. You go and pull those crates for Mrs. Goldsmith. I'm gonna huh? tear you She'll to be pieces. Here first thing in the morning. I'll be heading on home then, Ellie. Fine and dandy, you go on then. Night, boys. Casey, old man. Slow down, you hear? Well, let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> we 
Who the hell's in there? Someone in here? What the hell is that? Jesse's walking, walking, scared. Tween is lazy, he's got no head. Afraid of clown. Wait up, Randy, I mean it. Randy, please. One, two. Randy, wait up. Hurry up, soldier. You're an embarrassment to this blood zone, mister. You're not funny, Do Randy. Do you understand me? I mean it, Randy, you're not. You're not funny, Randy. I know you're hiding your jump out and try and scare me. It's not gonna work, so forget it.
What are you talking about? Who? Who? The clowns. The clowns, Randy, they're here. Casey, you were the weirdest brother I've ever had. Let's go home, Randy. Hold my hand, please. Randy, please. Randy. Don't ever leave me again, Randy. Please, ever. Just keep walking. Promise? Walk, Casey. I'm not leaving anymore. <laughs> oh, funny. Real funny. Little jerk off Jeffrey put the dummy back up again. That's so scary. Randy! What do you think of your best brother now, Case? Randy, Jeffrey wouldn't do that. Oh, he wouldn't, huh? Randy, those are Jeffrey's clothes. Randy, if Jeffrey wanted to scare us, he'd use some war clothes, wouldn't he? What are you trying to tell me? You think this is Jeffrey? You think he's dead, Case? You think the clowns took him up and hung him in the yard? Huh? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what happened, Case. I'll bet that's what happened. And this is gonna be Jeffrey's cold, dead body. Waiting to grab me from beyond the grave. Son of a bitch! What the hell do you think you're doing, you little asshole? You were scared, Randy. You were really scared. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. how does it feel? Sick, you little shit. I had to kill you. I had to fucking kill you. I just wanted you to get a little scared. You know, like Casey. You want any of this, you're gonna have to kill me for it. Didn't mean to scare you, Case. He was crying almost. He's probably going upstairs right now to change his underwear. Maybe he shouldn't have done it. He deserves a lot worse than that. Maybe stuff like that just makes him meaner. I didn't know you could get any meaner. They really are out tonight. Who are? The clowns. They are, huh? Yeah. Come on, let's get inside. Would you shut up, please?
Randy. Make me. Jesus, Randy. really too bad. Yeah? Yeah. What you do, Randy? Huh? Let me tell you something. When I get you, it's gonna be good. Real good. So go check the fuse box. Well, you go check the Why fuse me? box. Why me? His daddy only showed his favorite little boy how to change the goddamn things. What's the matter, Jeffrey? A little afraid of a big dark house? There's something to do that scares the piss out of you. You go. I'll go. But you gotta say I'm braver than you. Say it. Say Jeffrey's braver than Randy. I'd like me to call you an ambulance instead. You're scared and you know it. Yeah, and so you are you. You make Casey feel like shit tonight because he was scared. Yeah, you took him to some freaky fortune lady who really scared the shit out of you. Come on, stop it. You're a wimp. You're a chicken shit little wimp. I know you are, but what am I? You're a little dick. I know you are, but what Come am I? Come on, you guys. Call the police. Call us for friendly. It's probably nothing. It's probably not a goddamn thing. The fuse goes out and all of a sudden you guys are freaking out. You're freaking me out. No. Call officer friendly. What the hell are you gonna tell him? The fuse went out, the lights went out, and I heard a noise. What the hell are we supposed to do? Everyone's too chicken to go up to the attic. Bullshit. Stay up here pissing your pants all night. I say we draw straws and see who fixes the fuse. Case? Casey can't go up there alone. Oh, no. We're all men. We all draw. We all take the same chance. You got that? All right, shortest one fixes the fuse. No feeling around, just take one. All right, let's see him. Looks like you're elected, Jeff, old bro. I think you might be my best brother, too. You got the short straw ready, you cheater. You taught me everything I know. Now is the short star gonna go fix the fuse, or are we gonna stand around in the dark all night? Huh? You see me going? No. Being a little wet in the jockey slow you down a little? You got amnesia, little buddy? You better shut your goddamn mouth or I'm gonna bash you to shit. You're gonna be sorry this night ever happened, little buddy. I promise you that. Think you can go to bed? No way. What are you looking for? Come on then. Let's go read some comics. Not scary ones. Right. Just trying to get me under Casey's revenge, huh?
back, both of you. But they could not hear. They could only stare akimbo and agog. Wait, come back. Don't go out there. Don't you see? Don't you see how awful that thing is? Before anyone could suggest help, the walk, the walk, the walk. How could he not see it, the others thought? How could something so evil and so awful be so near? How could something so evil and so awful be so near and not draw attention? Slurp, smack, slurp, smack. The green gob of monstrous mucus beak. Crack, crack, cow, cow. Guns blazed, but it did not stop. The boys thought for sure all was lost. No, no, not now, not now. He can't get in. You stay here and don't unlock the door for anyone unless you're sure it's me. Okay. No way. I'm going with you. You know he's just gonna try to scare us. I'm going with you. All right, but you stay close. Randy! Randy, God damn it, answer! Randy, you're being a jerk! Randy, you jump out at us, you're an asshole! You are such a dick! Randy! Randy! Randy, you hear me?
do? Who the hell are they? My nightmare. Jeffrey! They sold it to the doors! They really do know where I'm hiding, aren't you, Free? I don't know, Case. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get help. There's three. Huh? There's one more, Jeffrey. Case! The dead window! Come on! Jeffrey, it's open. He wants us to go out there. Case! Jesus, he wants us to go outside. It's a trap. It's our only chance to get out. We gotta run for it. You got it? We gotta run our ass off, all right? Wait! to run right now run to mrs applebee's do you hear me casey i want you to run right now and tell her to call the police stay there casey casey <laughs> Thank you. 
like he's dead, Jeffrey. For Christ's sake, he's now you go get help? You gotta get him out of here. We'll put him back in the closet. They already knew he's in there. We gotta get help. We'll put him in the den. God damn it, Casey. You gotta put him where it'll be safe. <clears throat> Officer Friendly? I'm sorry, what do you want? Officer Friendly, please hurry. Is this Officer Friendly? This is Casey Collins at number 12 Oak, Oak Tree Circle. Clowns are trying to get me. Uh huh, hurry please. My aunt Mia's and my dad's in Cleveland. Casey, I'd like to hang up this phone right now when your nightmare's gone. Go ahead, try. That just work.
Thank <laughs> you.